Matt, what were you doing? The kick, it goes like this. Tuck your leg in first, then shoot it out. I know what I'm doing. You got in my way. I was in your way? Where'd you get your black belt, Kung Fu Theater? Maybe. Invisible Kung Fu legs, who was in it? Tang Tao Ling, 1980. Five Fingers of Death. Low Laden, 1972. Ha! Remember this? You killed my brother! And now you must die! <laughs> <laughs> that was the best! Hey, what about the Three Stooges? Which one? All of them. Mm. Lesson's over. What are you doing? I'm trying to decide what I'm going to wear tonight. What for? You're going somewhere. Out. Out? What do you mean you're going out? Is it any of your business? Of course it's my business. We're a team, remember? Only when we're working. Hey. Right now I'm not working. I like the other one better. Good, then that settles it. I'm wearing this one. So now I don't have good tastes? You have great taste for beer and pretzels. That's about it. You're going on a date, huh? With who? That's with whom. And yes, I am going on a date, for your information, with an old friend. Yeah. Well, whom is his name? Sergio Lanti. <sighs> Sounds like a pair of designer underwear. <laughs> no more than Mike Savage. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> OK, Sergio is the consul from San Luis. He's here on a trade mission. Big deal. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. Oh, Mike, that's so sweet. Knock it off. <laughs> what did you tell him you were doing here, exactly? <laughs> what I tell everyone, that I'm here designing a line of swimwear. Well, I don't like him, so just be careful. Thank you, Pops. Must be women trouble, huh? You know, the thing is, just when you think they get to know one of them, they go around and they do something so off the wall, so stupid, so... Beautiful. Where are you going? You look beautiful today. There's a new club at the Presidente, and Marcos has passes. You guys want to join us? Oh, thanks. Maybe I'll join you later. <laughs> oh. What are you laughing at? Whatever Ashley did to you must have really annoyed you. And how are you so sure it was Ashley? <sighs> I'm not blind, my friend. Is this Ashley Hunter Coddington Suite? Who wants to know? Sergio Lanti, and who would you be? Mike. Mike. I believe she mentioned you, the roommate. Yeah, roommate. Not quite as impressive as counsel. Vice counsel. What's the matter? Couldn't you make it to the big league? Could you just announce me, please? It's too late. She already went to meet you. What'd you do, screw up? Oh, I guess Ashley thought I was going to meet her at the restaurant. She's not going to be too happy. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, you know, if I were you, I'd just forget it, pal, because she hates when people are late. Uh, lose the glasses, please. The glasses. Wait a minute. Shouldn't you be in the blue and Maria in the red? Or is it you in the white and Andrea? Oh, Arthur, uh, does it really make a difference? Be a good girl, darling. Go and change back here in 20 minutes. Thank you. Good grief. You look like a man who's either regretting what he did last night or what he didn't do. Both. 
Have you seen or heard from Ashley this morning? No. She didn't come home last night. Oh, I see. I met her old friend. I don't trust him. I'm not jealous, Arthur. I'm worried about her. Then why don't you call her friend's hotel and see if she's there? I'll make the call. Are you sure? Forget it. Where is Ashley? Did you call the restaurant and tell her not to wait for me? Now, why would I do that? How about a jealous roommate? So she didn't go to the restaurant last night? No. And she didn't spend the night with you last night? Of course not. Have you heard from her? No, are you hearing me? It's been 18 hours. Ashley wouldn't be gone this long without calling in. Uh, it does seem unusual. Something's happened to her, and I think the Sergio guy's involved. Mike, there could be a perfectly innocent explanation. She could walk in the door any second. But she won't. The first time I met this guy, I had a gut reaction. I know he's dirty. Well, I sincerely hope you're wrong, but we better check him out anyway. Chrissy, open up a file on Lanty. Check with Interpol database. You got it. I'll try and find something out from this end. But if he has diplomatic immunity, I don't know how much there'll be. If he's done anything to Ashley, diplomatic immunity's not gonna help him with me, pal. Mike, Lanty will be priority one. And Mike, cover all the bases. It's already done. Have you seen her? Thanks. How you doing? Have you seen this woman? None of the girls saw her. Yeah, and the hostess is sure she didn't make it to the restaurant. The bail captain remembers seeing her at about six, but he doesn't know which way she went. And none of the cab drivers I talked to picked her up, and I talked to my cousins and my uncles and their wives' cousins and uncles. Anybody else? Yeah, I want to talk to my uh, sister, Ava's brother-in-law, Chaco. Now, he delivers mainly for the Mercado, but hey, you know, anything can happen. I'm going to meet him later on tonight. <sighs> Chrissy, you got anything? I've drawn a blank with Interpol, but... Lante looks like he's clean as the driven snow. Any luck with the Santo Luis State Department? It's difficult. But I know that I can crack their computer. Mike, I think we're on to something. A ring of international white slavers for a flat fee of one million U.S. dollars will deliver a woman who exactly matches the specifications of anyone who'll pay the price. You don't think Ashley could have possibly? I don't know. Information on several missing Santa Luis women who may be victims is part of the data you're receiving. I think you'll find Sergio Lante's travel records very interesting. Bonjour, ma petite. Awake at last. Well, I was afraid you were going to miss dinner. Please, join us. That's right. You need something to wear. Your clothes are hanging right there on the stand. And Ashley, please, don't take too long. Everybody's dying to meet you. Oh, please. What you just did is not going to help you a bit. 
Is this your idea of a date? What the hell is going on? Just get ready for your wonderful new life. Wonderful new life? I'm perfectly happy with the one I have. Think of it this way. You're gonna live in a mansion. Cars, clothes, jewelry. Everything every woman would ever want and need. If it's such a wonderful opportunity, then why do you feel the need to kidnap me? It's about money, Ashley. I'll have a lot, and you'll have more than you could ever believe possible. I prefer my independence. Thank you very much. Ashley, 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 come on. Whoa, feisty, good. He liked that. It's open. Cat told us. Can we do anything? I wish you could. I wish I could. You do have a plan. Oh, I have a plan. I'm just afraid it might make things worse. Couldn't we decide upon that once you've told us what it is? Lenti's in the business of selling beautiful women to the rich sleazebags of the world. If I could somehow convince him that I had an unlimited supply of beautiful girls, I think I can get close enough to his operation to get a line to Ashley. The only problem is he knows who I am. I'll do it. You can't, Arthur. It's too dangerous. I appreciate your concern, Michael, but it's for Ashley. Arthur, no offense, but who's going to believe that you have an unlimited supply of beautiful women? Well, I do. Look, who will they believe? Claudio, what say you and I have ourselves a little adventure? Hello? Sergio, mon ami. This is Alain Bertranez. Hey, Alain. Is that really you? What a long time. What is it? A year? Yes, Monte Carlo. Seems like only last week. What a wonderful time we had. Yeah, aren't they all, eh, Alain? Uh, Alain, I was on the other line. Can I, can I call you back in a minute? Certainly. You have the number. Okay. Hello. Hello, Alain. Sergio. Sorry for the interruption. So, are you in the mood for another experience? Always. But that's not the reason I call. A friend with a similar appetite has been approached by two European gentlemen with an interesting proposal. Who are they? Mario Cingualani and Eric Hempstead. They claim to have an unlimited access to a... ...of models. They are staying in Puerto Vallarta and they claim to have some samples. And you like my opinion on their samples? It would be a kindness much appreciated. Could you act on this immediately? My associate is quite anxious. Don't worry, I understand. Take care. Yes! The miracle of modern technology. I've been kidnapped by a gang of Cordon Bleu rejects. Okay, if I join you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Ashley. I gather all on the same boat. Yes. How did you end up here? Wine ladies. I'm an actress. Thought I was going to Rome to be in a movie, so I got on this private jet. It didn't go to Rome. And Lisa, she was shopping in Beverly Hills and somebody followed her into the changing room and... Chloroformed her. Join the club. Did you know him before? No, no. He said he was a movie producer. He always did have quite an imagination. You know him? Obviously not very well. Have you tried to escape? 
There's guards and cameras everywhere. I even found a people in my shower. Listen to me carefully. Have you noticed any chances to get a message out? The only ones we can get near are as guards. Have you noticed any times when they may be a little less vigilant, like during a shift change? Nothing. Then we'll just have to outsmart them. How? There's no way out. I'll find a way. Derek Hempstead. And you must be Sergio Lanti. My associate, Mario Cingolani. Have we met before? No, but we know of each other. <laughs> May I? Please. You were expecting me? You were expecting someone? The one in the black bathing suit. She is quite, quite lovely. You have impeccable taste, Mr. Lanti. There's a rumor that you're working on something rather special. Something right here in uh, Puerto Vallarta. You know how it is with rumors. Of course, but there are rumors and there are opportunities. Opportunities? Mr. Lanti, we think you might be interested in some of our merchandise. I had to give it some thought. Certainly. Nice meeting you. No, he doesn't seem interested. He's being careful. He just met. Don't worry, you guys did fine. They've got the car up on the video wall. Yeah, well, they could be keeping her anywhere. No luck, guys. That's the dedicated line. Okay, patch it up, Chrissy. Yes? Ah, oh, Sergio. Of course we're interested. We'll be there. He's picking us up in front of the hotel in an hour. Oh, I don't like this. It's way too fast. And he wants us to bring Kat. There's still no movement on Sergio's car. Getting one of your bad feelings. Yeah, tell me about it. What the hell? Later. Come on! 
Come on, they're chasing us! You okay, sweetheart? Yeah, I just need a bath. I thought cats hated water. Don't worry about it, we'll get them. It's my fault. I let them take the risk and I should have known better. It was the best shot that we had at the time. Look, we know what to do and who to talk to. Next time, let's not talk so nice. You guys remember my sister Ava's brother-in-law? Marcos, I'm under a lot of stress right now. Don't ask me to remember your five million relatives. Hey, man, if it wasn't for my family, you wouldn't have eyes and ears all over this town, okay? What do you got, man? Okay. Now, my sister Ava's brother-in-law, Chaco, he works for a food company that delivers to a lot of the hotels and villas around here. And he says there's this one house with a lot of beautiful women in it, and they've been buying a lot of food lately. Well, maybe somebody's got a family that's even bigger than yours. No way, come on. Anyway, Chaco's got a delivery schedule out there for tomorrow. I'm gonna go with them. All right, guys. Hit the streets. Keep up the hard work. Interesting phone call from my friend Alain Bertrand. He was very apologetic for not speaking to me in many, many months. Alain has such a sense of humor. Shut up. You two are policemen. Don't be absurd. We're in the same business as you. I don't think so. Come in. If I were you, I would reconsider my attitude. Both of you. His hours early. Yes. Huh? An eager client is the best kind. Lock them in and put a man at the door. Yes. Until tomorrow, gentlemen. Au revoir. Yes. 
absolutely marvelous. Pleasure doing business with you. You, the bar is that way. Orange juice, please. Of course. So you guys had a bad to No way. We got everything under control. There are four other women here. Yeah, we know kidnapped to order a million dollars each. A million dollars? That's all? That's more than I've ever paid. Listen, they got Claudio and Arthur, too. Damn, that complicates things. Don't worry about it. We're gonna get you out of here. I'm already working on an escape plan. He's giving a party tonight. Why are you still here? I came to get something to drink. Do you mind? I am not talking to you. What are you doing here? Disculpe, no hablo inglés. No más vine a sortir el bar. What the hell is he saying? He came to stock the bar. Get out. Get out! Lo siento. Out! Lo siento. No! Lo siento, señor. Out! You are a real slime, Sergio. Insults are not going to help you. I'll tell the others. While you're at it, find out if anyone has seen two men, a tall, blonde, long-haired Italian, and an Englishman. Have you tried the bedroom by the courtyard? They have got a guard on the door. Maybe they're in there. And to think that there was a time when I thought I could keep you for myself, it would never have worked, would it? Hardly. It is true. Women are not what they used to be. Amazing what an education does, isn't it? Honey. If I just had time to teach you. Don't touch me, you glorified pimp. Don't push me, Ashley. It's bad for your health. Springboard, I'm picking up Sarong on the mic. She's alive and kicking, but I think we better move fast. Security's good. He said uh, you'd let me go if I told you what I know. He was right. <sighs> you look such a rat. Oh, Melody, trust me. Lambs to slaughter. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Melody, please, would you take your seat over there? Melody, thank you. Ashley? I think I'll take the next seating. Ashley. This is Mr. Hiroshigata. Please, be seated. Please. Ashley. Gentlemen, welcome to the Million Dollar Club. Are they worth the price? Eh? What do we say? Yes, yes, good. Very good, good. Now, just remember the rules. You do not take possession until tomorrow morning. For now, please enjoy the night and have fun. Bye. <laughs> you, sir, are the scum of the earth. Now, if you'd excuse me, I'm going to go next door and call your wife. I'm afraid you are ignoring your guest. You see, I let you out of the house. 
your escape plan wasn't that good. How did you know? For anything less than a million dollar, you would not be worth the trouble. But take her back to Mr. Shigata and do not let her out of your sight. Go! Still quiet in there. Not for much longer, High Dive. Ready to go. Do it. Sergio, fight! Mike! I could kiss you! I remember you said that. Not so fast. I'm sorry, I was scared. You weren't the only one. Watch this one. Come on, girls. Hey, where's your boyfriend? This is not the time to get personal. Come on, girls.
let Sergio go? Maybe he skipped last night and took Claudio and Arthur as hostages. There's no way. We've had the house under surveillance since yesterday. He's getting away. Not a chance. Did Mr. Smith sign off already? Yeah, he had to go to some big party at the UN. Did he have any news on Sergio? Santa Luis lifted his diplomatic status. Right now, I figure Rodriguez is nailing him with about half a dozen extradition orders. Wonderful. By the way, Mr. Smith said welcome back and that he's glad you're safe. Oh, that's sweet. Did you thank Claudio? I paid my bar tab. How about Arthur? I told him I wouldn't pick on him for a whole month. So all's well that ends well. Sorry I made you jealous there. It wasn't jealousy, it was instinct. Oh, so instinct made you hate him right from the beginning. That's right. That's not what Claudio said. I'll kill him. You'll have to kill Arthur as well. He told me how worried you were when I didn't come home that night. I would have been that worried about any member of the team. A little jealousy isn't a bad thing, Mike. I wasn't jealous. Why are you all dressed up? I'm going out. Where? There's this little Italian restaurant at the marina. It's not quite the UN, but it's very romantic. Another old friend? Yes, my best friend. And who might that be? You.
That target barely popped and you already fired. Shocking, isn't it? More like careless. There's no way that your eyes could have adjusted that quickly. It has nothing to do with my eyes. I sensed it before I ever saw the target. Well, how'd you know it was the bad guy target, not the old lady with the kid? Feminine intuition. Now listen, I've been hearing that my whole life. Every time a woman gets a little bit lucky, she uses feminine intuition as an excuse. That's not true. Then explain it to me. Okay. Everyone has access to intuition. It's not exclusive to women. It's just that generally women are more in touch with their emotions, so they're more open to receiving subtle impressions. What? It's not my interpretation, it's MI6's. They believe that a woman operative who's in touch with her intuition is superior to any male operative. You are such a rotten loser. All Ashley is saying is that if you use your intuition, you got a split second advantage, that's it. And I'm telling you, female intuition is garbage. It is not. Prove it. OK. See this guy standing over there near the bar? Mm. All right. He hasn't even made his move yet. My intuition tells me that he's totally got the hots for that girl in the white bikini. How are you going to prove that one, Chris? When she walks by him, he's going to suck in his gut. Yeah, why don't you put 10 pesos where your mouth is and you're on? All right. No, 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 no. See, no, no, no. That's not female intuition. That's logic. Uh-uh. <clears throat> don't even try to weasel out of this. Okay, logic. Check it out. The blonde over by the palapa. She's ordering a drink? Mm-hmm. She's not going to pull her money out because she's going to wait for the stud and the silk shirt to offer to pay. And my intuition tells me he's going to offer to pay all right, but she's going to tell him to save his money and pay it herself. Ten pesos. You guys, you're getting a little too weird. I'm going to go do something more philosophical, like read comic books. Go ahead, man. You're gonna miss all the fun. Oh, too bad. <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot. Save your money. Do me a favor and put some lotion on my back. And don't get it on my hair. It's got sand in it. Good boy. Relax. Don't get any of my hair, okay? I think you uh, missed a spot here on my shoulder. I think you're enjoying this too much. The logic said I'd make you nervous. <laughs> you're impossible. Yeah, you're awful cute when you're not glued to that computer. Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> Good evening, Mike. Ashley. Good evening, Mr. Smith. Something very serious has come up. Ashley, I'm sure the name Taylor Leeds is familiar to you. Of course. I trained with her at MI6. Miss Leeds has been turned for the Suarez cocaine cartel. That's not good news. She's extremely well trained and extremely dangerous. She's been in Colombia for less than two weeks. She's already managed to turn two other M16 agents who are now also working for Suarez. Any idea why the buildup in personnel? We suspect Suarez is intending to expand his existing organization into some whole new dimension. And Taylor Leeds is part of the scheme. Pull her out of there, one way or the other. OK. But I want to call Frank Nelson in. He trained both of us. He knows her as well as anybody. We sent Nelson down there. Taylor killed him. What about Suarez? Your first priority is to stop Taylor so she doesn't get her hands on any other M16 agents. But if there's any way you can manage it, bring down Suarez and his whole operation. Sure, we'll have it done before lunch. I know Taylor was your toughest competition in M16 training, Ashley, but you have something now that you didn't then. Mike and the team. You're taking this Taylor business pretty well. I'll do what I have to do. If she killed the guy that trained both of you, then she's at least better than he is. Mike, 
She may be better than all of us. Well, then you better tell me what you know about her. Well, I spent a lot of time with her, but I don't know if I ever knew her. How much time? MI6 training isn't like CIA. They don't put you through in groups. They train you one by one, sometimes two at a time. I trained with Taylor. I worked with her every single day for an entire year. And you two never became close? Taylor was the sort of person you couldn't get close to. She always seemed to have her own agenda. Well, it must have been some compelling agenda. And my six agents are never supposed to turn. What do you think happened to her? I don't know for sure. We'll be in Baron Key in about 45 minutes. Brett and Kat should be landing with the van about now. As soon as we get there, I'm going to see what I can find out about Suarez from the DEA office. Okay. The DEA report says that an arrest order was issued for Suarez last March. He was released on bail. The judge handling the case was murdered. Eight separate judges have handled the case. Four of them are dead. As of right now, his trial date has been postponed for another month. You're not telling me he's going to walk away from this? No. A judge by Argo stepped in. Now, whether he can go the distance, that's another story. What about his personal life? His wife and children live in Medellin, but he entertains in Barranquilla. All this in a cheating heart. From what I've read, your Mr. Suarez is what we in the trade call a model junkie, with a particular penchant for well-built redheads. Looks like we're going to have to let our cat loose, hmm? <clears throat> Yeah. So it doesn't get hot till after midnight. Hey, since when did you become such a club expert anyways? Brett? Yeah, him and Tommy found out Suarez's location. He operates outside a nightclub down the road. I have a hunch that's what we'll find Taylor. How do you want to go about this? Well, if it is Suarez's hangout, the place will be swarming with his men, so we can't rush in and grab her. Strategy is the only way we're going to bring both of them down. We have to drive a wedge between Taylor and Suarez. I hope your feminine intuition is correct in Taylor's shows because this isn't exactly my type of establishment. She'll show. There's a step in the right direction. Swore is. I'll give it about one minute so Cat puts the moves on him. The guy with the Mr. Clean hairdo is Lieutenant Diego. I hear he's a real creep. <sighs> These women bore me here. It's still early. By the time the other business is done, could be something. I don't want to wait. Well, what about, what about that block? Huh? No, I like this one. Big redhead, sure. Looks like he's taking the bait. Sit down, please. Ah, uh, how long are you in Barranquilla? Just a couple of days, I'm here on a photo shoot. Ah, then we must celebrate immediately. Huh? Diego! Mike. That's her. Taylor Mead. Is something wrong? That woman. I thought I saw her in Medellin the other day. Impossible. I know her. 
She has in left Barranquilla since last week. Oh, well. Maybe I'm mistaken then. Maybe. Well, Taylor. Well, I was expecting you, just not so quickly. Can I buy you a drink? So, shall we reminisce? Ooh, let's talk about all the things we used to do for Queen and Country. Do, Taylor. Still do for Queen and Country. You've been sent on a wild goose chase. You do know that, don't you? I've been sent to stop the woman who killed Frank Nelson. Frank got in the way. I had to neutralize him. Just another job, right? Spy versus spy was a game. In this neck of the woods, it's a business. I'd rather be in a business than play games, Ashley. The stakes are higher. Things happen. That's just the way it is. Why are we having this discussion? I wanted to see you face to face. Here's your choice. You turn yourself in, or I'll take you down. You! <sighs> you know, Taylor, that was always your weakness. You never thought you had one. And you know what your weakness is? Your integrity makes you so naive. You're not ruthless. You haven't got the killer instinct. I wouldn't bank on that if I were you. Don't make the same mistake Frank did. Go home, Ashley. Or I'll kill you. Hi, Chrissy. What an interesting outfit you're wearing. You got a hot day tonight? No, I, I just, I, I, I felt like putting out something special. That's all, it's nothing. What's the latest? We're fine. Marcus is helping me do a complete rundown on the cartel. Oh, he is, is he? Yeah, it could take us all day. Well, don't wear yourselves out on our account. Oh, no, it's the least we can do. See, I got some information from my federal contacts. Chrissy's checking the narcotics board database. We'll have all the information for you by tomorrow. Thanks, Chrissy. With a little luck, we've planted the seed that's gonna screw up Suarez's and Taylor's relationship. Diego really dislikes Taylor. That's to our advantage. You know, it'll make life really great if we could somehow get them to sting each other. Think we got a shot? I don't know. Come on, what does your intuition say? You don't take it seriously. I would if I thought it could help. Okay, let's try an experiment. Close your eyes. Where's my hand? At the end of your arm. Very funny. Okay, Mike, relax. Focus on your breath. Don't think about anything. See the image in your mind. Concentrate until you feel it. Okay, now where's my hand? Very good, you did it. Uh, I was a lucky guess. Uh, call it whatever you want. You felt it and you were right. You reading me? Yeah, I'm getting garbage reception out here. Taylor's just entered the club. I should be able to pick up the conversation, over. Sit down, please. Federal Judge Andres Vallarga. He's a sharp thorn in my side. Tomorrow, as every Saturday, he will be riding his horse on a deserted stretch of Barranquilla Beach. Vallarga is the only judge left who is still taking a stand. With him out of the way, my trial can be permanently suspended. Will he be alone? No. He has a bodyguard. There's no money in here. Taylor, I meant to ask you, have you been in Medellin lately? No. Why do you ask? Mm, no reason. I was thinking next time you go, you must meet my wife. 
Mr. Suarez, I'm not particularly interested in your wife. I just want my money. After. Half up front, as agreed. I cannot pay you until this afternoon. I don't work unless I've been paid. This afternoon? Would you like something to drink? Diego, get Miss Leeds a glass of champagne. Sure. Don't bother. I don't drink before I work. I find it takes away my edge. Salute, Taylor. We got him on tape. I'll let you know when she comes out. Okay, catch you later. We have one day to stop Taylor before she takes out the judge. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The best way to strike at Taylor is at her wallet. Nava Suarez. But how are we going to get him away from his army? We invite him. Oh, Cat. What's up? Feel like trying a little modeling? No. Oh, no. Oh, no, not that Crete Suarez. But he won't keep his hands off me. The sacrifices one has to make. Have Brett pull out the cameras. In the meantime, why don't you give Romeo a call? I'll bet he just loves to watch. You look wonderful. Absolutely sensational. Right, now let's get into that lens. Right down into the lens. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's lovely. Okay, looking out to sea, nice and wistful there. Enjoy the moment. Beautiful. Back again, over to the right, a little bit more, a little bit more. Any sign of our friend yet? Yeah. He's watching from over there. Well then, let's give him what he wants. Yes. sweetheart. Way to go, boss. My pleasure. You know what? Whoever you are, you have made a deadly mistake. The mistake is yours, pal. Now that we've got Suarez, Taylor won't be far behind. She won't touch the judge until she gets paid, and she won't get paid until she gets Suarez back. I'd like to finish him right here. Tempting, but not until we gather enough evidence to bring down his whole organization. You know, he's a god here. There's going to be prices on all our heads within an hour. I want my 
my money? Where's Suarez? Perhaps you can tell me. He's been missing for hours. Well, where is he? I left him with some little model. A friend of yours, maybe? She has lovely red hair. Just give me the money, Diego. Suarez authorizes payments. No Suarez, no money. The company owes me money. You're an officer of the company. Just release the funds to me. Just do it. Don't threaten me. Until Suarez is found, I'm in charge. Yeah, right. You! That's right. Me and this gorgeous girl are gonna feed you lunch. No biting, and chew with your mouth closed. You are either very stupid, or very brave. Or both. I think he's stupid and brave. Thanks. Did you believe you can get me out from Berenquilla? Well, we got you up here now, didn't we? This is not a game. Now you've got the wrong attitude about your work, sir. You are all going to die. Slow, painful deaths. That is a promise I make to you. Look, mister. As far as I'm concerned, you're a scum. We came here for Taylor, but it was just so easy to grab you two. We just couldn't resist. Miss Leeds has truly outgrown her usefulness. Uh-oh, nap time. <laughs> Clear. How'd it go? Well, Taylor will never work again in this town. Good. What I don't get is how we're gonna turn a man with a local arrest warrant pending over to the DEA. Ash is clearing that with Judge Verga right now. Go relieve Tommy, would you? Okay, what have you got in the route? Um, we're working on it. Mr. Smith is sending out a couple of DEA guys. They're going to meet you eight miles outside of Bogota. Just hand Suarez over to the agent. How about contingency codes? I don't have that information. You'll have to get that directly from the agent. I'll give you his location. Thanks, Chrissy. Cat, check out the route. But be careful. Taylor may be watching. If you run into any problems, radio in. Otherwise, rendezvous at 1,400 hours. Right. Brett, do you read me? Go ahead. The drop site is 5.4 miles north of the Quinta turnoff. Stay on Taylor. Roger that. She's just coming out of the club now. Gorgeous, drop the gun. That's close enough. And the ear mic. Clever. Move it. Suarez. What's on your mind? I was just remembering how obsessed Taylor used to be. She never stopped training. Even if she had a date, she would have someone tail her so she could spot them. Sounds like one hell of a date. Much as I deplore what she's become. If I'm good today, it's partially because of Taylor. It was a real challenge to match her level of concentration. You used to be intimidated by her. Yeah, I was. Not anymore? When a woman becomes as ruthless as Taylor, she sacrifices something in the process. Intuition. Exactly. No, you've got one more thing she doesn't have. And the team, that's my advantage. And intuition. 
Hi guys, got some new info for you on Suarez. Mr. Smith was right about his expansion plans. He's in the middle of closing a major Russian drug deal. Thanks, Chrissy. We're just about to meet the DEA guys at the shack. Out. Wired. It's rigged to blow if I move. Stay by the van. Where is it? On my back. Don't touch anything. It's wired for remote. Get in the van. Just get Suarez out of here. You come first, buddy. What a lovely sentiment. Lose it. I think we can work this thing out. Oh, your new partner's a real diplomat, isn't he, Ashley? Name your terms, Taylor. Suarez, for your young friend here. Wait a second. Oh, you're in no position to bargain, Sunshine. I'll get Suarez. Hold it. Put down the triggering device first. I wouldn't rush that if I were you. I'm impressed. Well done. The rescue was a work of art. You have all my respect and gratitude, Taylor. Unfortunately, you have reached celebrity status. What do you mean? What I mean is, it is time for you to move on. As soon as we get to the office, I pay you what I owe. And more, I got money. You know that. Let's go. Suarez. Looks like he saved your life. Now I need you to open his safe. Why don't you do it yourself? You're the expert. You're coming with me. Move it. Turn around. Oh, and if any of you think of following us, she's dead. And that's a promise. Move. Mike, you're not just gonna let her go, are you? We have no choice. We have to disarm this bomb, quick. Okay, what's it look like? It's tubular shaped, three wires, different colors, going into the remote. Is there a wire coming to my chest? Just tape. Okay. Tommy? Yeah? Undo the top button on this coat. Boss, with thumb and forefinger, hold the shoulders of my jacket. If you jiggle me too much, they're gonna be scraping us up off the road. Okay. Easy. Set it down carefully. Okay, this is far enough. Hand over the device. What now, Houdini? Run. As I said before, Ashley, you're in no position to make demands. We had a deal, Brett the Suarez. You are so naive. No! Hey, 
You okay, man? Yeah. Thanks, man. Let's go get Ashley. Hey, I got Ashley. Let's go. Okay, inside. You'll never get out of the country alive. You know that, don't you, Taylor? Don't lecture me, Ashley. You've lost all credibility. You even got MI6's 11th commandment. Thou shalt not get caught. <laughs> That's the one. It's funny, they were always going to put you in research and analysis. They should have stuck with the plan. Go move on. You could do a lot of good with this money, Taylor. Planning on donating to a few charities? A drug rehab, perhaps? Ooh, I see we haven't lost our sense of humor. What happened to you? Money was so important. Why did you join MI6? For the thrills. I guess they missed that in the personality tests. Now hurry up. Did I ever tell you about the last time I spoke to Frank Nelson? It took me an hour to unscramble what he was saying. No. He was telling me you'd just taken down Omar Nashim. The infamous ghost bomber. He was so proud. How did you kill him? Gun? Knife? Strangulation? I shot him. Now get on with it. Was it a clear hit? Or did it take him a while to die? Oh, shut up! Hurry up! Enjoy your blood money. Thank you. It's wired to blow, Taylor. Don't play with me, Ashley. I suppose I should say thank you. Don't bother. Force of habit. Well, are you okay? Fine. Can't cover her. Let's go through his files. If we could find Suarez's Russian connections, we could bring down this whole operation. the logo to Suarez's dummy company. Names, dates, shipping ledgers, Russian location. Hey, yo, we got company. Deal plus four, all packing heat. Listen, call Arthur. Tell him to get here immediately. We need help. I'll take the side engine. Arthur! Disco. It's classical, actually, but under the circumstances, I thought this sound might do. That's it, fellas. How much is Ashley paying you? What I do has absolutely nothing to do with money. And you want to know something else? Not particularly. Whoever said you were better than Ashley was scoring in the wrong categories.
I guess I'm catching on to this feminine intuition stuff. Are you sure it just wasn't a lucky guess? This was a major coup. Because of your efforts, Suarez's entire operation is finished. His attempt to expand into the post-communist world is over. I hope this is a deterrent for others like Suarez. It's nice to think we make a difference sometimes. Now maybe some kid in Siberia is going to have a tough time getting his hands on drugs. Judge Vallarga also wanted to convey his gratitude. It's not easy staying alive in Colombia. And thanks to the team, he is. So the next time we take the heat van down to Columbia and I get a parking ticket, he'll take care of it. Don't hold your breath. And before I forget, I want to give a special thanks to Ashley for completing a very difficult assignment. Till the next time. I have a little presentation of my own to give. This is for Above and Beyond the Call of Bravery. Disco super sounds of the 70s <laughs> to my buddy and yours, Arthur. There you go, buddy. You're the best. Yeah. Thank you. I really don't deserve this. Do I? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. These photos, Brett took a cat, came back from the lab. Ah. <clears throat> Director's prerogative. I don't believe this. They're all out of focus. He did this on purpose, didn't he? Didn't you? It could have been a bad batch of film, Arthur. I've sweated blood over these. It's terrible. But you know, you're a great director. I can't believe the professionalism of that boy. Oh, 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 hey, Arthur, come on. Don't talk to me. There, there could have been sand in the camera. I don't care. <laughs> so, do you two have anything to report back from the home front? Nope. Marcos? Nope. Nothing. Come on, guys. He's a welcher. I'm not a welcher. We had a bet. I said that Ashley would eliminate Taylor. He said she couldn't. Ha! <laughs> so little faith in me, Marcos? Columbia's a nasty place. Nothing personal. But you got Taylor, only she's not dead, so the bet's a draw. As a matter of fact, we had a little bet of our own. I bet that you two would, um, you know, get together. And I said you wouldn't. Get together? Well? There's money at stake. Mm, I'd rather not say. And my lips are sealed. Pay, Pay up. up.